What is up guys, my name is Andrew and welcome back to Airport CEO. This is episode number five and in this episode I want to expand. Well, I want to expand. I don't know that we're going to be able to as far as uh, into this sector goes, but we can do a couple of other things to prepare for that. Now, one problem that we currently have is that we only have one entrance way and one exit to our main line of, of uh, whatever these things are called, of stands. And that doesn't usually cause problems, but it does sometimes cause problems when a plane is coming in this way and one wants to leave this way because they can't do it at the same time. I think it might be a better idea for us to just kind of go this way and then kind of curve down this way and make it be a one way. Way, uh, a, a one-way road sort of and then a one-way out like that so there, there'll be a direct line for the planes to go it'll uh, I, I think it'll decrease the amount of time it takes them to get to their stand as well so let's go ahead and do that it's gonna be pretty simple uh, we've got plenty of cash so we'll be good to do it let's go to airline infrastructure we're gonna go to taxiway foundation and we're just gonna expand this taxiway all the way up to here now I'm not sure what we want to do for this because we are planning on having larger aircrafts and I don't actually know how big the taxiway needs to be for larger aircrafts. So I think we might just go like this for this taxiway. Make it a pretty large taxiway going down that way. Uh, and notice we're, we're using the, um, the uh, asphalt by default as well uh, this time. So because I, I don't want to have to go through upgrading it. That, that's pretty painful to do. You could have you weren't there because I remember I forgot to uh, or, or the recording screwed up. But um, when I went to edit these, like you can't just pave over them with asphalt. You have to actually like close the entire airport and then put like demolish these and put them back up. And the whole time the process is going on, planes can't land. It's so crazy. Um, and there needs to be a better way to do that. But unfortunately, that's what it takes. <laughs> and it caused some problems um, when we tried to do it as well. But. Here we go, we've got a nice setup here. So let's go ahead and uh, make our nodes. So taxiway path, we're gonna bring it down this way, and then we're gonna have it turn down this way, and there we go. That's a nice connection to that. And that actually makes it very easy for us to add more stands as well. Still not sure what we wanna do about this area. I'm thinking we might wanna add more stands along here and then just increase the number of these we have, but I think every stand needs its own uh, check-in desk, doesn't it? Which I, I always thought was super weird. Like, it's can't, let's see. Do you connect to a stand? Tall conveyor, clear bag. No, see, you don't connect to a stand. Do I connect the stand to a check-in desks? No, you don't do that either. So, see, I'm not entirely sure how it works. You might need one of these for every stand you have, which I, I would think would be ridiculous, but, um, but, but I guess that might be how it works. Um, anyways, that's looking pretty good. Uh, we've already got that set up because our builders are super fast workers, which is cool. And stuff let's press f make sure we have oh we have a lot of flights we can actually schedule so let's go to tuesday and schedule these this one's going to go for our 6 15 time slot then we have another one here that's going to go for our seven time slot then another one here we can put in our uh 10 15 time slot pretty good we're filling up uh, pretty nicely here then our 5 30 and our come on our uh, six time slot. Awesome. And then we have a one-off flight that we can just throw right there. That'll be fine. I like throwing flights there just to make a little bit of extra cash uh, before the day's out. Um, a sixer, we can put that in our uh, 215 time slot. Now, 215 is kind of early, but keep in mind 215 is the time it arrives, whereas uh, five, what, 515 is the time that it leaves. So 515 is a very reasonable time for leaving, uh, for a flight leaving, but 215 is pretty reasonable, I guess, for a flight arriving. I don't know. If you've ever been been to an airport, the only people who are there really after hours are the people that are arriving. So arriving flights typically come in pretty late, but then don't leave until uh, a while. So we can have this one take our 630 slot. This one can take our 945. Uh, our 1030. Uh, this one we'll put in our... 130 and then finally we put this one in our uh, 230 awesome now we do have the ability right here to uh, set up auto scheduling the only problem with that is I tried it and it seemed to screw everything up so I'm not quite sure I want to go back through that <laughs> and it might be that I just wasn't sure how it, like how to how to set it up properly but I don't know I'm, I'm fine going through and actually scheduling all the flights it's not that bad um, and, and I like having it organized to my specification uh, as well so that's that's good that's a thing 
Alrighty, so we now have that set up. Uh, how are we doing on money? We're pretty much at the amount of money we had before we started setting all this up, so that's good. What do we want to do? Let's create a, let's create more shops here. And I might want to re hang on. Let's let's consider reorganizing the way that the terminal works. I don't want to delete these because it's gonna cause problems. But we can delete the chairs and we can set them up a different way. That might be a good idea. I don't want to delete that shop either. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. First we're gonna go through and we're going to change the flooring. So that it matches what it was before. It's gonna cost us a little bit of cash. Oops, I screwed up the flooring in there. Okay, so the flooring is now back to where it was. Uh, that I want to change back to this. Alright, awesome. Flooring is good. Uh, as for this, how do I want to do this? Let's. We're gonna demolish these chairs. No, we don't want to request cleaning. Oh, can I relocate it just like that? Oh, it's not yet implemented. Okay. Well, it is in, in pre-alpha, so things happen. Uh, let's delete these chairs, delete the chairs. We're going to leave a lot of room for shops, and we're going to uh, just kind of rework how we have the chairs set up. Sorry, guys, you're going to be de-seated in a second. Okay, so chairs, we're going to put them like this. So one right there. We'll do three since, since we're kind of sharing. Oh, no. We can't really fit a third one there, can we? Okay, well, in that case, demolish this one. Let's do... Hmm. How do we want to do this? Can I fit them like that? No, I can't. It's like one too short. Okay, that'll be fine. We'll have them like that. This one right here, we'll, we'll be able to fit them, though. Is that the door? There's no door there. <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> I, did I never put doors in? <laughs> That's kind of funny. Uh, right, so seating. We'll put right here. Put those right there, yep. It's not that expensive to put this seating, so I'm totally fine putting a bunch of seating everywhere. And it gives us a lot of room on this side to do stuff. So let's put some seating on this side as well. There we go. Awesome. Uh, as for the doors, let's go ahead and put those in, because I think it looks a little bit odd having no door. Um, we'll put them in like this. Although it kind of bothers me that it won't be, it won't be perfect. Well, we'll put them in like this. It'll be fine. And we're going to fill in those little holes once the doors are built. So this right here, these little holes are going to have to go. And there we go. I think... I think the stands put those doors in. <laughs> to match with the uh, this right here. But whatever. No, it looks good. It's all good. Okay, so now we should have plenty of room to put put the uh, the stores right here. As for the walkway, we're going to do something like this. We're going to have a smaller walkway, a thinner walkway, if you will. Since we don't really have that many passengers, I think we can get away with something like... Well, let's, let's do some wall work first. Let's make it like this. Like that. Wait, no, I don't like that. I don't like that. Back up, back up. Okay, slow things down real quick. Okay, back to here. We're gonna grab the wall, we'll do like this. I don't like that either. Okay, let's remove this part right here. We'll keep that. And then we'll do something like this. This is interior design. I'm not great at it, guys. Give me a give me a break. <laughs> uh, okay, so that's gonna be good. I like it. Maybe one right there. Okay. Then like this. How do we want to do this? All right, there we go. My interior design is not great, but essentially what this does is it allows uh, kind of some privacy to the people who are sitting down and it separates things a little bit so that there are openings now to get to your terminal. So uh, as you're coming up, you'll be able to see uh, the terminal that you're going for. So you'll see it right there. Uh, and then you can also see the seating right here. So you'll see the terminal, you'll see the seating, see the seating, see the terminal, see the seating, seating, terminal, seating, and so on and so forth. So I think that looks pretty good. We'll go with some more flooring like this for the uh, the main walkway, which I think we're going to make a bit smaller. That I think we're going to do a three instead of a five. So let's do something like this. Yeah, we'll do something like that. That gives us an option to have a bigger storefront area, which means more money. So <laughs> that's good. Okay, 
Um, so the stores, we're going to have some stores right here that we're going to have. Now, I wish they had more options as well for stores, like th things like small shops that you could stick. Like, not giant stores like this, but like miniature shops. Um, now, does it have to be enclosed, actually? I actually don't know. I don't think it does. Oh, that's a good, that's a good point. We don't have to actually make an enclosed shop. Okay, well, in that case, let's do something like this. We'll have... How do we want to do this? More interior design work, guys. This is not... This is hard for me. <laughs> like this. Then... One, two, three, four. Okay. And... There we go. That will be a shop. Look how crazy that looks. It's not enclosed. And that's why I like it. Because people can just kind of like filter in and, uh, and go there. I think it looks cool. Uh, so... Alrighty, how do we want to plan this out? Let's go to our stores. Right there, our little commerce section. We're gonna call this a we're gonna call it a food room. I like I like it being a food room. We're gonna make it about that big. Does it want to be a restaurant? I don't know. I don't know if it wants to be a restaurant or like one of those kind of stop and purchase areas. Uh, but let's sign a contract with somebody. So what do you guys want? Let's we're gonna look at the space first. So you, it looks like you're good for the space for the bistro. Uh, what else likes the space? The cafe likes the space. Burgers likes the space. The beer place likes the, sta uh, the space. Vegetarian likes the space. So how much are you guys giving me? 496 per hour. 620 per hour. 92 per hour. 90 per hour. 1200. Okay, what do I need for you guys? 10 fridges and a cafe counter compared to the other one. Uh, what was the other one that was good? This one. Three fridges and a cafe counter. I think I'm actually gonna... I think I'm gonna go with the large one. It's double. So we'll need to... We'll need to build some cafe counters. Let's go... Let's get some cafe counters in here. So let's go to our stores here. And display fridges. We need ten of these things. So uh, we'll do... I think we want to do it like this. So people will come in, you know, they'll grab their food, they'll come over here to the cafe counter, and once they're done, they'll be able to sit down at the nice square tables, which we'll have set up right around here. So I'll have a square table right there, a square table right here, a square table here, one here. Those will be the corner tables. Let's get them chairs real quick. I'm going to get you guys some nice chairs. There we go, that's looking pretty nice. Uh, let's get a couple of tables for the middle area as well. You know, the middle, I think we're gonna have round, round tables with four chairs. So one right there, chair. If I do one right there, I can do one right here as well. Can I put another one in? I don't know that I can fit another one in easily. That's the problem, man. It takes up a lot of space, these things. Oops, screwed that one up. Oh, was that a garbage can that I saw? Can I have garbage cans? Oh, sweet! Trash cans, I like it. Uh, where would we put trash cans? Uh, maybe as you're exiting. Yeah, we'll put, put a couple of them as you're exiting. You know, you can throw stuff away so that you don't, like, throw stuff everywhere. <laughs> uh, right then. Let's get some chairs for this place as well. All right, that's, that's a nice little cafe. I like it. So we'll have a nice little cooking. Like, you buy things over here, and then you go over here and you chill. You, you kind of, like, get prepared for your flight. You do you. Do you that sort of thing. Uh, what do we need here? We need some flooring. I, I, I would rather have a nicer flooring for this area. Maybe some light wood flooring as you come in. Just for kind of this side. That's, like, nice flooring. And then you'll have, like, this white... Uh, uh, tile, sort of, almost. Clinker, maybe? Mm. We could do that, I guess. Yeah, that wouldn't be that bad. Like a nice... Yeah, there we go. So someone comes in here, you know, they, 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 you know, they buy their stuff, they go back there. Awesome. 
Let's sign up with our bistro. Oops, there we go. Sign with these guys. Awesome, we should be making money now. What is our thing? We need to make 1,900 sales. That's a lot of sales. I don't know that we'll be able to make that many, but we will see, I guess. Look at our money. It's actually going up quite substantially, which means next episode we should be able to actually buy this and then expand this and hopefully expand also our area. Now, what did I want to do with this little area? Why did I add a like a a, uh, a pathway here? Well, I want to go ahead and... Well, here, let me, let me show you. First of all, I don't like how this looks. I want to I kind of want to expand this like that. But then this right here, I want to go down here and I want there to be like a little bathroom right there, which um, I don't know. Should we set that up now or should we set that up later? And then obviously this as well has to be a pathway to something. Maybe what we'll do is we'll have something around back here and then this will lead to some other part of the terminal or something. I'm not sure. My my plans, by the way, eventually, is to have a larger one of these. So like a, a major building with a bunch of these check-in desks. And that'll be like a gigantic building um, that will lead you into a larger security area. And once you're past the larger security area, it'll shift you off to certain terminals. So you might go to uh, Terminal A, you might go to Terminal B, or Terminal C, or a Terminal D, or something like that. And those will have different airports, uh, or different runways, rather, and different stands, and it'll be really cool. Uh, but right now, uh, I think it's gonna have to stay this small because we don't have the money to just expand rapidly uh, as I had hoped that we could. But yeah, as for this, I don't like this look right here real quick. Let me do something about that. Make it look a little nicer. Let's change that right there to look like that. And this as well. <laughs> I just don't like the look. It looked a little weird. There we go. That looks a lot better, I think. Okay, we got our people working here, and unfortunately it doesn't look like we have very many guests, but it is nighttime, so I guess that makes sense. Let's schedule a couple more flights for the next day. Uh, it's almost a full day, we just need to schedule a couple more. So this one right here we'll schedule for our uh, 5.30 slot. Do we have a one-off flight? Yeah, we'll schedule that one here. Great. Now for Thursday, we can schedule one for our 2.45 slot very early in the morning schedule this one for our 315 slot we still have a one star flight going here but these two should be over pretty soon and we'll, we'll get on to the three star flights which i think provide us with more money than the one star flights don't quote me on that though 45 10 30 and now for these flights we have a 10 45 right here then we have our 230 slot oops almost put it right over there um, let's get one for our 5.15 slot, and finally a one-off flight to end it off. And then on Friday, look at this, we're getting all the way to Friday. We only have a bunch of one-off flights, so we're going to have to schedule these. Oh, we have a two. Put that in our 10 time slot. Put this one in our 1.30, and then this one in our 4. Looks like we have a full day for the next... One, two, three days. That's good. That's great, actually. That means that we're going to be making a lot of money, and hopefully by next episode we'll have enough money. In fact, we certainly will, because we're almost at 500k, which means next episode we should have enough for this. Meaning we can finally expand our, our runway and get larger planes. All right, fun stuff. Well, if you guys like the episode, please hit the like button. Put your comments and your suggestions down in the comment section below, and I will see you guys in the next episode when we get large runways.